In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Rainbow Six Siege game chat. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I want to present multiple methods that you can follow along to fix issues that you might be having with game chat, either not being able to hear your teammates or not being able to use your microphone. Whatever the case is, follow along and I'm gonna show you methods to use to fix this issue. So first, inside of the game itself, one of the base things to check is to go over to the options and go over to audio. Make sure that you have an audio input device and an audio output device. As long as these are set properly, this is going to be the first step to ensure that game check works as usual. You might have multiple microphones as you can see here and you need to pick your primary one. I cannot tell you which one is the primary one that you want to use, so you have to check on your computer. Usually, if you scroll down, you will also find this option, voice chat volume. If this is grayed out or if it is set to zero, of course, you will not be able to hear voice chat. If you have the option to turn this slider up, turn it up to however much volume you want to hear from voice chat. Now, if it is grayed out like me, this could be an indication of your microphone not being picked up properly or depending on if you are on a single single player match or on the training grounds like I am, this option will be grayed out by default. If you are on an usual match, you should be able to drag this slider all the way up to hear voice chat. This is going to be available once you ensure that you have a microphone connected to your console or PC. You can also change other options like push to talk, open mic, or disabled. As you might expect, if this is set to disable, voice chat will be turned off completely. So choose between push to talk and set a keybind or open and your microphone will always be open. Set the voice chat volume, record level and record threshold and you will be good to go to use voice chat. One other thing that you can check inside of the game before we move on to Windows settings is to make sure that chat assistance or anything related to text and voice is set up properly. This might differ on your console but in here you might have the option to switch from text to voice preference because sometimes everything you say in voice chat can be converted to a chat text message. So double check that option if it is available for you. I think it usually doesn't appear on PC. So if you are doing this process on PC, you will be good to go already. One of the last things to check on your PC or your console is to make sure that you have an audio device properly connected. So go over to the control panel and you will find the options related to sound. When you go over to the sound settings on your computer, you will be able to see all the playback and recording devices. If you believe that your microphone is missing, right click anywhere on these empty spots or any microphone that you see and select show disabled devices and disconnected devices. This way, every hidden device will appear at once. Afterwards, you can find the specific one that you want to use, enable it if necessary, and after it has been enabled, like my microphone here, you will be able to go into the properties, listen to this device, make sure that the levels are correct, and use it as necessary. You can also go into the playback devices and make sure that everything is being detected, you have some headphones or headset connected, and as long as you see them in here on the audio input and output devices inside of the game, you will be good to go to use voice chat. Everything including text chat and voice chat will be working as soon as you are done setting up these Windows sound settings. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Rainbow Six Siege game chat. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.